All right, truck is started. Let's zero some stuff out. All right, we're at trip B. This is the lifetime of the truck. We are not zeroing this out. Here we go, trip A. Let us zero this out. Okay, all zeros, elapsed time is going because our truck is running. Now let's go to the fuel economy and let us zero this out. Boom, zeros. So now we're gonna track our mileage. We're gonna talk about this in a little bit. I just wanna get that intro because I need to get on the road. There's my car. It's on a different trailer this time, not enclosed. But again, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. I need to get on the road and out here. All right, 400 miles into the trip and I finally get to chance to do my intro here. So what is this video? This video is another in my series of towing mileage videos or just mileage videos. Cause I do mileage on everything. So the last time I did this, it was same type of thing. I was going to a race, towing my car, except last time it was in a enclosed trailer. And we know what the mileage was there, not that great. A little better than my RV, but still not that much better. So this time around, I just got a U-Haul trailer, much lighter trailer, and much more aerodynamic. If you notice, the hood of the car, the front of the car, it's about even with the bed. So all the wind's kind of going right there, and then it's going up like that. I had to get on the road because I was running really, really late, which is why I'm doing this my first stop. And surprisingly, I'm just west of Jackson, Mississippi here. So where am I going? I'm going to North Carolina. So it's going to be similar to the Orlando trip in that it's the same, pretty much exact same distance as that Orlando mileage trip. And most of the road is actually identical. So right now is the exact same road that I would have gone if I was going to Orlando. In fact, right at Jackson is about where I turn kind of southeast of Florida. So that's where my paths are going to diverge a little bit. But terrain should be the same. So everything should be pretty similar. So yes, that's what this video is about. I said right Right now 400 miles in I'm averaging like 16.8 I did a, a couple short video clips as I was driving as I was hitting new peaks honestly I didn't think I would hit a peak of 16 but I did and then I kept going and it's 17 so let me play those right now right, just cruising along here and I think this could be our peak mileage for the trip so I figure I just record it really quick we're 163 miles into the trip and as you can see we are at 16.0 miles per gallon and as you can see right now we're at 70 miles an hour RPMs are about 2100 as you can see average mile per hour 59 and we've been going pretty much between 65 and 70 most of the way All right another peak update 16.2 we're now 206 miles in All right, we just keep going up we're up to 16.4 now sorry about the rockiness part of the reason why we're at 16.4 right now I'm at 50 miles an hour still 2000 RPM but holy crap I'm going through Shreveport right now my opinion, Shreveport is some of the worst roads in the South. And I say the South because I'm from Detroit and there are no roads worse in the country than what's in Michigan. But all those, holy, I mean, I'm telling you this is hor Shreveport, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shreveport is just so bad. It like takes me right back to the Michigan roads. The climb continues. We're at 16.5 and cruising at 66. RPM still at 1900. We're 256 miles in and climbing 16.7 and it is still in tow haul mode. You can see the light there. I've gone almost 300 miles now, just a little short. And just show you, prove to you, look in my mirror. There's my car. How about the other mirror? Yep, there it is. See, I'm towing. And we just keep going and hitting a number I did not expect to hit. Check this out. 17.0 you can see my average mile per hour is still 62 and i've gone through almost 370 miles now on this trip it still says i have a range of 108 miles i haven't even got my first tank of gas yet i'm still on the same gas the same tank i was on when i left my house going over the mississippi river crossing into mississippi still on my first tank of gas dropped down to 16.8 from our peak but man awesome all right just made my first stop for gas i'm about 30 miles west of jackson mississippi right now my mileage says 16.8 but my range 488 miles and i do have a 33 gallon tank i just filled up with 24.65 gallons 106 dollars all right i figure this is as good a time as any to make an update because we are entering sweet home alabama so we are getting excellent mileage we had a peak of 17 in louisiana and as always in mississippi my mileage goes down so as you can see i'm at 15.9 now we're 543 miles into the trip 
Average mile per hour, 62, so still good mileage. I mean, the fact that I'm bouncing around 16, I was kind of thinking I'd be 14.0, maybe if I was lucky. I honestly wouldn't have been surprised if I was just at like 12 to 13. All right, out here to Love's quick update. Second stop, almost made through another state. I'm still in Alabama, but I feel like I'm only a couple miles from the Georgia border. So this time I filled up, I got 25.288 gallons, 112 bucks and I use 89 mid-grade on this trip. Well, turns out I was actually about 10 miles west of the border because welcome to the Peach State. Now this is gonna be the day 1.5 intermission break. So it's like 1 a.m. Oh, I need a little sleep, so there I am right there. Right next to a Class A. Man, what I wouldn't give to have a Class A or a Class C motorhome pull in a trailer but I don't. One day, one day dreams may come true. So now we're at 15.6 miles per gallon. We've gone 857 miles. Been in the truck, man, almost 14 hours. But yeah, it's interesting. So like East Texas and Louisiana, mileage was awesome. We peaked up at 17. And then Mississippi, it slowly started creeping down. Then Alabama, like Birmingham, it really like just dropped down to like 15.0 at one point. Well, we got us our uh, three and a half hour break. Let's go. Still in Georgia, not really doing an update, but man, I was about to say, look at this crazy fog. And then it cleared up for a little bit. Hold on, let's see, looks like we may go back into it. Here we go. There's a light, man, back, holy crap, like I can't see. Man, it, it, this is some dense fog. Another state down, that's the South Carolina Welcome Center. So I guess I'm in South Carolina now. I never even saw a sign. With that being said, let us do the update. So our mileage has gone back down again. We are at 15.1 and we've gone 956 miles. All right, one more gas stop update. I did a gas stop because I needed some 93 gas in my gas can for the car. And so what I did just to make it easier for me, I mean, this may skew the results a little bit, but I filled up the gas can with 93. And then I took note, took a picture of the pump, exactly how much fuel and cost and all that I put into that can. And then I just kept filling up the truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that ticket or receipt and subtract the gas I used in a can. Two thirds of a tank worth of premium isn't really gonna affect things too much in the grand scheme of things, but Talking about mileage, man, it has dropped quite a bit. Now we're at 14.2. My average speed at show is still 62. Yesterday I was pretty much between 65, 70. Today I'm between 70, 75. I'm sure that's part of it. I made it to the track. I'm at Rockingham, North Carolina. Let's uh, do our mid-trip update. The last like 90, 200 miles was just slow roads, two lane highway, lots of towns. I did work my way up to 14.9 miles per gallon. So as you can see, we did 1,138.9 miles, average mile per hour 61. So this last 90 miles slowed down the average, but surprisingly not that much. That's where we're at right now. And that was going east from Dallas to Rockingham. And the next half of the vid, we're gonna go the opposite way. And then, all right, it's time to start the second half of this mileage test of towing a trailer. In this case, the U-Haul trailer with my car, which is these, about the smallest trailer you can get short of a dolly. And we're all done with the weekend. And if you're here for the mileage, you might not care, but I did finish third place in two classes I raced this weekend. So at least to help with the mileage, I got these plaques. Well, that doesn't help with the mileage, but the cash behind them sure does. So let's go ahead, get in a truck, and let's see where we're at. I okay, so we're in here, I'm running, and as you can see, our average mile per hour dropped to 56, and I think that elapsed time was about 19 hours and 36 minutes or something when I let off. So yeah, I've been idling for probably a half hour. So as you can see, our miles per gallon dropped to 14.3, but like that happened in Orlando, we'll make up the difference for the time idling pretty quick. So we're still at 1,138 miles, so we are gonna double that. Taking pretty much mostly the exact same route. There's a slight change in my route between here and Atlanta, but it's like only like a five mile difference. Otherwise, the entire route will be the exact same roads all the way back. So I will update you. Will we do it every state? I haven't decided yet, 
Okay, quick mileage update. I know I don't get many then last night and honestly, I was just so tired. I got through South Carolina and I got through Georgia and I just crossed into Alabama. This is actually the Alabama Welcome Center rest area. It was like 11 something at night and I was just like, man, I'm tired. I just, I just need to lay down for a couple hours. And then I laid down and I have this new cool little rear air mattress that fills up the back seat and man, it's so comfortable. I slept till like 5 30 in the morning now. but as you can see our miles per gallon has slowly been going back up it's up to 16.1 and again i've been cruising 65 70 there's been some portions i'll just kind of chilling along at 60 but our average mile per hour is going back up we're up to 57 mile per hour average i'm sure that should still go up as we continue our journey so let me get back on the road and probably i don't think i'll do any more Inter travel updates unless something interesting comes up and we'll just uh, do an update as soon as I get home Which will be today sometime. Okay, we're gonna count this as, as the end of the trip kind of because I just took a screenshot of ways I have literally less than three miles to get home and it's gonna be like 18 minutes Because the road I live off of is horrible. So you can see we've gone 2277.6 miles Average mile per gallon, 16.1. Now that's what the computer says. Average mile per hour, 59. So I think on the way out there, we ended with 62. The idling hurt a little bit. I actually was driving more around 70 miles an hour. So a little quicker than on the way out. Just because I'm getting here way late. I wanted to avoid all this traffic. I should have been here hours ago. And then finally, elapsed time of 38 hours, 21 minutes. Let's get this mileage video wrapped up here. So I got my cheat sheets here that I got all the numbers I figured out. So first we're gonna talk about where we ended. So again, after I got back home, I had to take the U-Haul trailer back to U-Haul and then I filled up the tank all the way back up to full, putting it right back to where it was when we started the trip. And I did compensate a little bit just by the extra mileage after taking the U-Haul trailer back and all that. So on this trip from Dallas to Rockingham, North Carolina and back, we did six gas stops. Well, seven if you count the last final one, but the last final one I actually only put in like 11 gallons. In total, we pumped in 155.393 gallons of gas, and this is all mid-grade 89, except for about 17.847 gallons, that is 93, which I talked about earlier because I needed some 93 in a can for my car. Price-wise, the total cost in gas for this trip was $696.62. At the current gas prices that I paid, that averaged out to $4.48.3 per gallon. Now with all those numbers, we can calculate in actual miles per gallon. Now remember the truck said we were at 16.1. Sometimes that number's kind of close. My Orlando number, it was somewhat close. This time it was surprisingly quite a bit off. So the calculated actual miles per gallon based on all the fuel that I pumped in and the mileage we went was 14.66 miles per gallon. Regardless of how far off the gauges was, 14.6. That is pretty good mileage towing a car with just the gas Hemi, not the Echo Diesel, just the straight up 5.7 stock Hemi. Now let's compare that to when I towed my car in an enclosed trailer to Orlando. Again, pretty much the same distance, same terrain. In fact, half the route was exactly the same. And I got my cheat sheet from that video. So in that trip, I did 2,363.6 miles. So I did about 85 more miles that time than this time, but I did a little bit of driving in the middle of it. And I wanna guess, say, I think it was like 60 to 70 miles of driving and that was unloaded. So for those 2,363 miles for the Orlando trip, we pumped in 269.89 gallons of fuel. That is literally 114 gallons more that I had to use with an enclosed trailer. And then let's just go over the other numbers really quick. So total cost that time, $1,183. The average price I paid per gallon there was $4.38.6. So the average price per gallon is pretty similar between this Rockingham and Orlando trip. So that enclosed trailer to Orlando cost me almost $500 more in gas to tow because the mile per gallon that we calculated, it was only at 8.758 actual miles per gallon. So this time around with the open trailer, I got basically six miles per gallon better. 
both times it's just me and a truck towing my car to the track the car we know the weight pretty much the same weight i have all my tools floor jack all the same stuff i take to the track every time the only difference is one i took the lighter weight more aerodynamic open u-haul trailer and the other i took this little bit heavier big box enclosed trailer that is much less aerodynamic weight wise i want to say i think the u-haul trailer is rated at about 1100 pounds of weight and the enclosed trailer i have to look it up but i believe it's about 26 to 3,000 pounds so yeah there's always pros and cons to everything obviously there's some big advantage to having an enclosed trailer but gas wise if you're traveling a lot Man, an open trailer is just gonna save you so much money just in gas cost alone. Now, by the way, if you like these mileage videos, I guess my third one, really, I did one with the RV, one with the enclosed trailer, and this one right now with this open trailer. Now, I'm actually going back to Orlando in a couple months on a family vacation, but this time we're staying at a hotel in Orlando, so we are not towing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video with a comparison of all the different types of ways you can drive a 2017 Ram, towing an RV, towing a closed car trailer, towing an open car trailer, and then not towing anything at all. I'm really looking forward to doing that video because we're really gonna see all the different mileage ranges and how things affect the mileage in the truck. But here I am at my destination. I'm actually going into the county office to renew my registration on my Challenger. So thanks for watching. Hope this was informative. Hope you liked the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you at the drag strip.